All right, now that I've pretty much covered everything I can possibly say about Poppy the Performer, it's time to take a look at the creator, Ryuji Matsuda's, various other works. While nowhere near to the extreme levels of what the fuckery of Poppy, they still are really weird. Now unlike my Poppy videos, I didn't watch every single episode of these series. However, I did watch enough to give you guys a glimpse of the weird world of Ryuji Matsuda. First off, I'll start with the least weird of the bunch being Charity's Daily Jokes, which is basically about this girl, her pig, and weird talking rabbit thing, who supposedly tell funny stories each episode. Now, I've watched quite a few of these episodes, and I haven't found them that funny. I mean, the first episode had a kid tell both his parents stories that actually wound up being how both his parents were cheating on each other, which was a lot more mature of a joke than I expected from the series. And another was basically about some sort of competition to prove that not all blondes are stupid, which wound up failing. But besides some of these stories taking some pretty crazy turns, they're nothing too major here, at least when compared to a lot of the other things we've seen on my What The Fuck segment. Though one aspect I really did not enjoy here is how each story has their own art style, which helped make watching these episodes pretty fun, despite the lacking comedy. However, while Charity's Daily Jokes is quite a step down on the What The Fuck meter, things luckily pick up with the next bots of the series being Funny Pets which is an extremely generic name that doesn't really add up. Considering the so-called pets here are these two aliens who act more like roommates or friends rather than pets. Strange name aside, this series is pretty much like Poppy in the sense of being another cartoony slapstick show with a main trio of characters being a happy-go-lucky sun alien that has a black hole in its mouth for some reason, a moon alien who is the main sufferer in the series and trying to oppress the owner of these two weird aliens being a girl named Candy. Again, this is more surreal slapstick comedy that can get a little disturbingly violent or dark, with the moon alien practically dying every episode in some pretty fucked up ways. One episode his eyes are ripped out, however the most fucked up one is where he decides to impress Candy by making her a cake, which she throws out. Disappointed, he decides to bake himself into a cake to hopefully impress her. However, the sacrifice for attention was in vain, as Candy is disgusted by the cake he baked himself into, leaving him there to basically rot. Oh, that was fucking dark and depressing, man. But moving on from that note, we have Mr. Stain on Junk Alley, which I found to be the most polished looking out of Matsuda's work, which may be due to this one surprisingly being produced by Funimation. Which is a really strange bit of trivia, but once again we have ourselves another cartoony and occasionally surprisingly dark slapstick show. This time following a homeless man and a cat as they fight over food and get into many crazy antics. Again, this is just a lot more the same of what we expect from Matsuda at this point, though there are some standout episodes. Such as the one where Stain helps a lost baby, who then dies. Stain goes out looking for its soul in order to hopefully bring it back to life, but then comes across this ugly ass policeman, who then beats and shoots Stain to near death, which was way more brutal to look at than I would imagine. However, Stain then gives a piece of his soul to the baby, seeing as how this could very well be the end of Stain, the cat Stain hangs out with takes a bit of the policeman's soul and puts it into Stain, which was just very crazy to watch and doesn't make a whole lot of sense. However, then there's the epilogue of the series, which has Stain falling in love with a woman in an apartment. However, whenever Stain tries to express his love, something usually gets in the way, and to make matters worse, a handsome version of Stain comes out of a mirror and gets into a fight with him. Just go with it. However, in the end, the power of love and music prevail, as they're able to defeat the mirror Stain, and he finally gets the girl, but then the two get blown up by lightning, and the series ends. But yeah, that is the crazy world of Ryuji Matsuda. Poppy the Performer, in my opinion, is still definitely his weirdest as well as best series, but it was very interesting taking a look at his many other works. I'll await to see whatever he plans on making in the future, as it's definitely something I'll be covering here for my What The Fuck series segment. But with that, I'll see you guys next time.